to another video in the Danny began with Eva YouTube series. Well, allow me to welcome the new members who have recently joined us because I've realized that we are growing day by day, which is very encouraging. Thank you so much for joining this amazing journey began with Eva YouTube family, a family of happy people, supportive people, people who are ready to empower each other, people who are ready to support each other to become a better version of ourselves. Well, for those who haven't joined us yet, kindly do consider joining us. I hope that is enough reason for you to consider joining us. So at the end of this video, consider joining us by pressing on that red button you see on the extreme right side of the screen. That's why you will subscribe, then you put your notification button on so that YouTube can always notify you whenever I upload new content. So before we continue with this video, I have some questions for you. Number one, do you have a long-term plan for your YouTube channel? Number two, do you have a niche? Have you specialized in a certain area which you feel like it brings out your best self? Number three, are you passionate about what you do as far as content creation is concerned? Number four, what impact do you want to create? What do you want to be known for in this YouTube platform? What impact do you want to create in these YouTube streets? And the last one, which we are going to tackle today. I remember mentioning content burnout in a video which I uploaded, I think about a week or two weeks ago. That's what we are talking about today. How to overcome content burnout. So how are you going to tackle content burnout as an upcoming or a beginner content creator? Because sometimes you'll feel tired, sometimes you'll feel discouraged because you're not getting the views that you envisioned getting from your videos. Sometimes you feel like not creating content at all. Yes, your viewers will be pushing you to give them certain content, but you're not in a stable state of mind to give them what they're asking for. So how do you overcome that? How do you ensure that you've planned ahead so that you can keep consistent in your YouTube channel? Number one, you should be able to plan ahead. You should always ensure that you have several pre-recorded videos which are, which are already shot, edited, awaiting uploading so that you can keep up with consistency in your YouTube channel. Otherwise, if you just sit and wait to think of ideas, then you just shoot one video, sit back and start, uh, you start celebrating that at least I have, I have shot one video, I have shot two videos. You should have like five videos which have been shot, ready, awaiting to be uploaded. That's how you overcome content burnout. Yes, you'll be just at the background resting, trying to reignite yourself for a comeback, but you still have something to upload in your channel. That's how you plan ahead and keep consistent in your YouTube channel. Always plan ahead. Number two, try and strike a balance between vlogs and sit down videos. I remember mentioning in a previous video that vlogging is a very involving exercise. Vlog vlogging is not easy because you have to step outdoors, you have to step out of the house, you have to go outside and shoot content from the streets, which is not easy. Especially if you are a beginner, you have not yet gathered the confidence to step out of your house and start creating content from the streets. Especially if you are a beginner because you are not yet camera confident and again standing in the streets and convincing people to come and participate in your content creation exercise is not easy. Because I remember telling you, uh, especially down here in Africa, people are not used to vlogging. Most people don't want to appear in cameras. So what do you do? You have to familiarize yourself with vlogging a day at a time. You will not conquer it in a day. Let no one lie to you. You will not conquer vlogging in a day, in a week, 
or even a month. It will take some time. Number three, try as much as possible to stick to your niche. Since we're just starting out, if you're into cooking, maximize on cooking videos because you're just introducing yourself to the YouTube platform. So if you're into cooking and you've seen that the reception from your viewers is positive, stick to that until you are confident enough that you can explore another niche with your, with your viewers. But once you're a beginner, you're just starting out, try as much as possible to stick to your niche because you already know that for you to get monetized, you have to get the 1,000 subscribers and you have to get the 4,000 watch hours within a period of 12 months. So how are you going to keep your viewers interested in watching your content? You have to be consistent in what you're doing. You have to leave them yearning and waiting to watch your next upload. Number four, study your analytics and identify the best videos which are performing well in your YouTube channel. If you identify like four or five videos which are doing very well in your, ch in your channel, ensure that you create more content which is closely related to that content so that you can build up that momentum, so that you can keep your viewers engaged in watching your content. So ensure that you make your YouTube analytics your best friend. They will always tell you uh, where you are going wrong, what you are doing right. So observe the trend, what is happening in your YouTube channel because that's why you'll be able to tell this video got this number of views, this video got, got this number of dislikes. So and also engage with your audience. Understand what they like watching from you. When you post a video, follow up in the comment section, read and see what they are telling you and put that, factor that in, factor their input when you are creating videos for them to watch. They will feel appreciated, they'll feel happy, they will resonate with your content. Who doesn't like being appreciated? So always observe your YouTube analytics because they will tell you how your channel is performing. Make analytics your best friend. Number five, don't give up. Don't give up on your content creation journey. Success is only guaranteed to those who persevere. Criticism will always be there. Whether positive, negative, use the negatives to build on the positives. Change those negatives to positives. If, you have, uh, if your viewers have identified something up that you are not doing right, next time when you are, when you are creating, perfect that. That's how you grow as a content creator. Content creation is a chance because once you give up even that uh, calendar, that content creation calendar you had, that long-term plan you had for your channel will never be realized. The more you keep creating, the more you keep learning, the more you keep improving on yourself. So treat that criticism as a stepping stone to become better in this content creation journey. After all, people will always be people. So don't lose focus. Always remember why you started when you feel like giving up. So I hope this video was helpful to you. Remember, content burnout is real and at some point it will strike you as a content creator. I hope those five tips I've given you will come in handy at that time when content burnout checks in because it is unavoidable. Have a plan. Always plan ahead. Try balancing between vlogging and sit-down videos. Maximize on your niche and make YouTube's YouTube analytics your best friend. Number five, do not give up. If this video was helpful to you, kindly go ahead, give it a huge thumbs up, share it to your friends, leave a comment down below. And for those who haven't subscribed yet, please do consider subscribing and joining this amazing 
journey began with Eva YouTube family. Well, before I check out, always remember to be kind to one another because currently people are going through so many difficulties. See you in my next one. Bye.